Hi, I'm Deb with Embroidery Library. I want to talk about a very special kind of design called a corner. A corner design is L-shaped and it's nice for linen napkins and placemats. It can be a little tricky to hoop so close to the edge, so I want to share some tips and tricks and also show you some very creative uses for corner designs. To demonstrate, I'll embroider a corner design onto a linen napkin. A template is a printout of a design and it's handy when planning where to stitch. After I have the template where I want it, I mark the center point and the vertical and horizontal axis lines. Now because the design is placed so close to the edge, I can see that I can't put the entire napkin in the hoop. So I'm going to use temporary spray adhesive on cutaway stabilizer and that's going to bind the fabric to the stabilizer. Cut a piece of cutaway stabilizer a little larger than your hoop. Spray it with temporary adhesive, then smooth the napkin on top, leaving excess on the sides for hooping. Hoop as much as you can, lining up the marks on the fabric with the marks on the hoop. You can see that two sides of the napkin are well in the hoop, that third side is just barely in there, and this fourth side is free. Now that's ready to go, and I can embroider it just like this. But if I rotate the design 45 degrees, then I can hoop even more of the napkin. Most embroidery software programs have the ability to rotate. I'm rotating the design 45 degrees counterclockwise. Print a template of the rotated design and arrange it on the corner of the napkin. Mark the center point and the vertical and horizontal axis lines. Spray a piece of cutaway stabilizer with temporary adhesive and smooth the napkin on top, angling the point down. Hoop the napkin and stabilizer together, lining up the axis lines with the marks on the hoop. You can see that I have more of the napkin hooped now. I wanted to show you both ways so you can decide if you want to stitch it straight or angled. Now both are going to work just fine, but when I embroider, I like to have as much of the fabric hooped as possible. Attach the hoop to the machine and load the design. Move the hoop so the needle is right over the center point. Embroider the design. I use a size 11 or 7511 embroidery needle on linen napkins. After embroidering, trim the stabilizer away from the back. And then make four, six, eight, or however many you need for your table. Those are the basic steps for using a corner design on a napkin, beautiful and traditional. And now I wanna show you some creative and non-traditional ways to use corner designs. A corner design adds a splash of color to this t-shirt. In this example, a corner design is used to frame a larger design. This is an excellent idea to keep in mind if you want to fill a large space but have a small hoop. This sweatshirt cardigan has a design on the back and the front and a coordinating corner right on the pocket. I used a corner design on a tea towel, but I mirrored it so one is facing left and the other is facing right. This is one of my favorite examples of using a corner design in an entirely non-traditional way. This is the corner and I stitched it four times, and each time I rotated the fabric 90 degrees. Thank you for watching today. You'll find hundreds of corner designs and creative tutorials at our website, www.emblibrary.com.